So today we are making meatball subs. Wrong. Say it with flair. Saucy meatball sliders with classic Caesar salad. So let's get my glasses because I'm blind as a bat when I'm reading. Thanks to my many years of working with computers. So this should take us about 35 to 45 minutes to make. This, I bought this one. This is plated, plated. This is our first plated meal. Uh, these are 760 calories Three per servings. servings. Three servings. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. <laughs> um, we did get, it is less than the Home Chef versions, but I did look and I ordered some lower calorie stuff for next week. Let's see. Um, so we have our two romaine hearts that we're going to be washing. We have one and two. We're going to wash these and we're going to be cutting these. You want to open this, please? Show everybody the lovely ingredients. Why do we need lemon? So, like Home Chef, everything is packed and marked. So, we have our buns. Our buns. Lemon, because that's for Caesar salad. Oh. Lemon is always in your Caesar salad, so you got your lemon. Got Parmesan cheese. That's your garlic. Garlic. Garlic rolls. Breadcrumbs. Mm. Three meatballs. Meat. Anchovy. What the? No. Okay, it's anchovy paste, and that is in your always in your Caesar salad. When we get Caesar salad, we order it without anchovy fillets because you don't like the fillets. So the paste is always in. Caesar I'm never getting a salad again. Well, thanks the for coming. The Caesar that. dressing that we buy always has anchovy paste in it. That's what makes it so tasty. Yeah. So we're gonna put that in there. I'm yep. eating it. You've been eating Caesar salad for how many years? Why, why would you tell me that now? Mayonnaise, classic, from and Einstein Bros. Nello sauce. Okay, so this is gonna make um, nine sliders and salad. So I'm gonna kinda join this cone. You're gonna rough chop it, like bite-sized pieces. Did you indi individually? No, you can bunch up the leaves at the same time. Need a big knife. And then put it in here. Go get the butcher's knife. What's that? The big chef's one? knife, the big, the big murder knife. Oh, that's nice. This one? Oh, God. The murderer knife. The one you always see the murderers use. For the women carrying around in the murder suits. There you go, perfect. Not too small though. Yeah. Okay, so this is a garlic mincer if you have never seen one. Mine happens to be from Pampered Chef. I do have a little cleaner that cleans out the little holes, but I gotta look for my drawer of horrors to find it. So what it does is you put your little garlic clove in there, voila, or two or three, and you press it, and out pops your minced garlic. Like to me, that's nothing for garlic. Princess! But we'll just go for it this time. Next time, I have a feeling I'm going to be adding garlic. That's a lot of lettuce. Lots of lettuce. Okay, Julia is feeding cats. So what we did is we have you currently propped up on the romaine. Um, I have the lemons. And then what I did is I used one of my icing spoons. And I took the salt, the quarter teaspoon salt, and I made a paste out of the garlic and the salt. So you take the minced garlic and you're basically doing like the mortar pestle method. I do have a mortar pestle, but I was not gonna haul it out for that. Um, so you're basically breaking it down into this paste-like quality. 
it's mine's still a little gritty, but yeah. Um, so then we have these, we have our garlic. Um, now, what's weird to me is they had me, they're having me do some weird stuff to our meats. Um, so I have my pat my beef dry with a paper towel and we're gonna place it in a large bowl and then um, they want me to set it a little bit aside to make meat sauce. I'm just not gonna do that because that's gonna be like an extra step. In the cooking process, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this and make the meatballs and just have the marinara sauce. So, what doesn't make sense, I'm omitting. Um, it just seems like an extra cooking process that's unnecessary to me. You're having, she's just eight, which is why she's catawalling, if you're wondering. Um, you're already having meatballs, which is gonna be in the sauce. Why do you have to have double your efforts in brown meat and then add sauce to make meat sauce? So, Julia, do you wanna come over here and help? Wanna help? Julia. So we're now adding the ricotta. I'm gonna go ahead and use my spoon here. Um, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. Okay. Egg. We gotta break open the marinara sauce here. Oh, me to open it? I used the parm instead of the breadcrumbs. Crap. See, I screwed up already. Ah. Okay, we have more parm, so we're just having parm in our bread, our parm in our meatballs. No biggie. I can wing it. I got Parmesan cheese. I need my, a new knife. <sighs> See, I just screw up all the time. Well, they do look kind of similar. I was wondering why those breadcrumbs were so white looking. They are very, they do look similar. Is so that the an egg? It is an egg. That's the binder. You always put a binder in when you're making your meals. Oh. It cooks, don't worry. So Can one. You stir it when you're done. You're going to mix it with your hands? Oh. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Cut. Better late than never. Okay, so we have our ricotta, our breadcrumbs, our one and a half tablespoons of marinara sauce, our egg, now I need a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna eyeball this as a teaspoon. That's about a quarter. That's It's gonna get salty anyway from, I need a quarter of pepper. Thanks, so. That's probably a quarter. I, I'm eyeballing things. We like more pepper anyway. It's probably an eighth to a quarter, somewhere in that neck of the woods. So then you, she's going to mix these. She's going to mix these. Should I just mix all that? You mix all this. Mix it well. Um, I'm scared. Just get in there. Get in there, mate. <laughs> Ew, it feels so gross. You want to do it? I'll get the warm water going. Oh, it's like, oh, I don't like this. Ew. This is something you have to learn to do for your man someday. No, he's making me food. Um, oh. No, but I can wing it. You don't have Parmesan? No. What are we going to eat with our salad? I'll, man, it, we'll, we'll figure it out. I got, I can, I can handle it. I got other do cheese. Can you put it in the cupboard again? 
No, I didn't put it in the cupboard again. So can I see how mixed that is? That's eight, nine. This gotta be definitely a little more. So you want these to be kind of similar so that they kind of all cook about the same time. So you don't want a ginormous meatball and then eight smaller meatballs. Because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a raw meatball and eight black meatballs. So you want them sort of, I can tell right now I'm gonna to have to move a little meat from some to the other, which is fine. And looks a little big, so I'm gonna take some off, drop it there. That meatball's gonna be light. It's gonna be a tiny meatball. Oh no, Huey Lewis. Oh. <laughs> How did you get that mixed up? Because I didn't hear it right away. It took me a second to. <laughs> took me a second to digest the music. It took me a second. I'm slow on the uptake lately. It's called SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder. It makes me lose my mind, which means I'm slow on the uptake. Slow on the uptake, slow. <laughs> so what we've done is, um, I they just told you to put the buns on tin foil to toast them. I've actually buttered them a little bit and then put them face side down. I'm gonna actually grill them in the oven. So I'm gonna move this to the pan that was had the meatballs on. I'm gonna pop that back in the oven. Those just go in for like two or three minutes. And then I'm gonna carry you over here. So in the pot, I've transferred the meatballs now. They are all done. And there's the marinara sauce in there. It's hard to see because my little microwave light does not work. But they're in there, I swear they are. So here's a bowl and a whisk. So you're going to whisk together the mayonnaise. And you're going to learn how to make handy dandy scissors from scratch. I think that's pretty good. So we got about two to three tablespoons of that out. There's just maybe a half a teaspoon of anchovy paste. That's to give it the flavor. Yeah. It is, trust me, this it's is like what... like cat food. <laughs> but that's what gives it what you need that, trust me. Um, so then we need our Parmesan. So you're going to whisk together. Start. You can start whisking this. I'm going to add the parm. And then the juice of two lemons. I want to do this. Lemons. So you put it. I know. Okay. Work those biceps and triceps. The emulsification going. Okay, you can throw that out, set that one on the board. And put the next one in, please. And homemade dressing is really easy to make for people out there that don't know. I do it. I have done it okay. many a time. It's so much better for you. It tastes better. And it's so easy to make. Okay. 
Like, it's seriously really easy to make. throw those out because garbage disposal is not handling lemons. I would normally put those in my garbage disposal, but since we are having... Should we take the buns out? Oh yeah, I should probably check those. Aren't you glad you have me? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to add this garlic paste that I've pretty much broken down. I've worked it till my arm is sore. Still a little gritty, but it'll break down in this nail. Whisk, 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 whisk. Then I'm going to add a eighth of a teaspoon of salt. A little bit of pepper. And I still got to get the parm in there. Okay, so we're going to get this in there. And then dressing and toss to coat, hence my lovely cover. We're going to toss this right on. Does it smell like Caesar? No. It smells like anchovies. It does not. Julia, you've been eating anchovy paste in your Caesar. You, you just you haven't had like the. Mix it. Yeah, you haven't had the. Um, actual anchovies. The fillets. When I, like, we go to a fancy restaurant, I just tell them to the fillet for you. Really difference. This can get recycled. Workout. Let's see how it looks. Coated. Yep. Coated. Good. That's off. That's off. Ah. That off. Looks coated. Coated. And we do have croutons. I buy bulk croutons from Costco. We have extra parm if we need it. And do you want the. Yes, this, that one. This one? Yep. Okay. So I gotta take the safety off. Magic of live TV, we went and got some. In the Caesar, we did use the good stuff, though. For on top, though, we're going to use the stuff they sent, which I suspect was in this variety. We won't show the brand. Okay. I thought those Cracker Barrel logo on it. I was just like, what? So it does say, show in the picture to sprinkle. And since... I used it on all of the inside the meatballs. You know you can just sprinkle it, oh, right? I don't know how fast it's going to come out. You just... Uh, so when you're going to sprinkle, you just hold it on an angle. Okay, okay, I got it. So that it, and then just tap. Angle and tap. And you can go over again if you want. There you go, just like that. Oops. Might want to get that one a little more. Okay. Now I'll get the, the tongs for the Caesar salad. No, I thought I would just use my hands. I said, now I'm going to get you some tongs. I know. In my other drawer, of course. I know what you said. And we want to have your Caesar. This looks pretty dang fancy. Tasty and tasty. Fancy. This is really good portion. Okay, we can get seconds. I can hour. tell you, I'm not going to eat all this. Plate one done. Now, just wait. I want to. I want to do. Do you want croutons on yours? 
No. No croutons? No. Okay. I will not eat all this, so there's no way I'm going to eat all this. This is like way too much food for me. I don't even, I, I, yeah, I'm, there's no way. So for me, Julia, only give me one slider to start with in a some one. salad. Yeah, just one to start with. I know, I'm weird. So that is what it looks like. This is the card. There's the card. There is our version. So pretty close, I would say. Other than my one little hiccup where I had to, I think that's fine. Um, other than the one little hiccup where I put the breadcrumb or the Parmesan inside the meatballs. Yeah, that could be really cheesy. Yeah, which will be good. They're pretty good. I think we did. I think we're doing good. And then we added real grated parm to the Caesar salad, so that was another modification. Oops. We'll report back after we eat.